Hello, welcome to Additional Maths Lesson 6. Um, this lesson we're going to be focusing on nonlinear simultaneous equations. So I expect you to be able to already understand how to solve simultaneous equations. So things you've done at GCC level, such as find uh, the solutions to these two simultaneous equations, 3x plus 4y equals 12, and 2x minus y equals 5, something like that, where the solution is asking for the value of x and the value of y, which works in both equations, okay? And that can be found using algebra, using elimination, adding the equations together, subtracting them, um, when you've multiplied one or the other by a certain amount, so you've got the same number of y's or x's, etc. Or you can do it geometrically by drawing them as lines on a graph and seeing where those lines meet. Okay, so that's linear simultaneous equations. These these are two linear equations. They are equations of straight lines. Okay, so they are known as linear equations. What we're going to be doing today is nonlinear simultaneous equations. Okay, or linear and nonlinear. So sometimes one of them might be a linear and one of them might be a nonlinear equation. Okay, so the first question we're going to do is solving y equals x squared plus x and 2x plus y equals 4. So what that's asking for again is it's asking for the value of x and the value of y or the values of x and y which work in both equations. Okay and if we drew them on a graph we would be looking for the the point or points where these two graphs cross each other. Now the first graph is a quadratic graph and so that would be a curve and the second graph is linear so that would be a straight line so it would either not meet at all or it might sorry that one is actually has a negative gradient but it might not meet at all or it might meet at one point or it might meet at two points okay so it depends on the linear and the nonlinear as to whether there are solutions so sometimes there might not be solutions but I'm going to show you how to solve it if there are solutions. So we have these two equations. And what we're going to use is we're going to use a method where you substitute into in information from one equation into the other equation. So in the first equation, I am told what y is equal to. So y is equal to x squared plus x. So that means that I can replace the y in the second equation with that value, that, that equivalence of y. So I can replace y in the second equation with x squared plus x because I'm told that y is equal to x squared plus x. So we are substituting into the second equation information from the first equation. And that gives me a new line where I write the second equation out again, 2x plus, and instead of writing y, I write what y is equal to. I will write x squared plus x, and that is equal to four. Okay, so all I've done is I've rewritten the second equation, this one here, and I've rewritten it with the information from the first equation substituted in. And now I've got an equation with just x's in, and that is something that I am able to solve. This uh, quadratic equation, so I'm going to make one of the sides equal to zero and solve it using either factorization, quadratic formula, or completing the square. Firstly, of course, I'll try and see if I can factorize it because that's the best way. So the 2x and the x to combine to make 3x. I take away 4 from both sides. So I've got x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to zero. This quadratic factorizes, have a think about what it would factorize into. So it'll be x and start both brackets. Two numbers which multiply to make minus four and add to make three. So that'll be positive four and negative one. And at this point, I can state the values of x which are true. So x is either going to be negative four or x is 1. A very common error is to stop at this point. 
You'll get some marks, sure, but you won't get the full marks because when you solve simultaneous equations, you are asking for the values of x and the value of y for which it is true or whichever variables you're given. So we have only solved for x. We found the values of x which will work in both equations, but we need to find the corresponding values of y. So since we know that y is equal to x squared plus x, so from the first equation, I know that y is equal to x squared plus x. If I know a value of x, I can just simply substitute those values into that, that equation and find what y is equal to. So if x is minus 4, then y will equal negative 4 all squared plus negative 4. Or it'll equal, if x is 1, y will equal min 1 squared plus 1. Okay. So I'm just substituting the values I've gained for x into that equation at the top. And that gives me y is 16 plus minus 4, which is 12. Or y is 1 squared, which is 1 plus 1, so that's 2. Now I've solved simultaneous equations. However, I like writing my solution as coordinates. It's stating what are the coordinates, if I drew both graphs, what are the coordinates of the points where the graphs will cross? So I'm going to write them as coordinates. So the solutions are minus 4, 12, or 1, 2. Okay, so those are the two coordinates for which both equations will be true. Okay, the two coordinates where the two equations will cross. Okay, so I want you to have a go now. So I'm going to give a question, pause the video at that point and have a go yourself. So solve the two equations y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5 with the equation 2x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, so pause at this point, try and solve these two equations and find the coordinates for which they will be both true. Okay, I'm going to go through the answer now. So from the first equation, you are told that y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. So I will replace the y in the second equation with that. So then that will give me 2x plus x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 5. Simplify the equation. You'll get x squared minus 4x equals 0. Factorise this time. It's not into two brackets. It's a single bracket factorization. You take a factor of x out. x brackets x minus 4 equals 0. So therefore, x will be either 0 or x will equal 4. And then you simply you substitute those two values into the first equation, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5, to find the value of y. If x is 0, y is equal to 5. And if x is 4, y is equal to negative 3. So your two solutions are 0, 5, or 4, minus 3. If you got both of those correct, superb. Okay made errors that's absolutely normal just as long as you understand what those errors were now it's time to practice that okay so those are the two examples we've gone through go to the textbook have a go at exercise 3.2 so in chapter 3 exercise 2 questions 9 and 10 are the best questions to do for that but you can do all the questions through the exercise and that will help you get more fluent in this topic Okay, the textbook, as I've mentioned many times, is this one. So the Hodder Education book, perfect for this OCR ad maths course. Okay. Okay, enjoy. <laughs>